well. I'm well. It's a sunny day. I'm I'm and I'm you know what? I've missed talking to you. I haven't talked to you in a while. So this is this is just great. I know. I've been super excited too. So thank you. Yes. So before we get started, I'm Velma Tollison. I'm the growth manager of Travel Quest Network. This is Mary Yost. She is the owner of Mary Yost Travel. And Mary um, specializes in luxury travel. And I have seen uh, many of her social media posts and her trips just look awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And um, you started your agency about four years ago. But unfortunately, there was a little hiccup called the pandemic for about two years of that. Right. But you're you're just doing so well. And I'm, I'm super impressed and I'm excited to share you with our members. Oh, thank you. So first of all, tell us how you got started in luck in selling luxury travel. Sure, sure. Um, well, about six years ago, I um, contacted a travel advisor that before I was in the industry um, to create a trip for me and my husband. And we had never used a travel advisor before. And she was a luxury travel advisor. Okay. And this trip was just so phenomenal. It was to Peru and it was just, it was just oh, wow. 12 days of nothing but luxury and beauty and it just okay. an amazing experience. Uh -huh. There were so many surprises along the way. And so when I decided to get into the industry four years ago, I thought that is what I want to do. I want to create these incredible experiences and I feel like it's just part of my DNA. So um, yeah, that's how I got started. Wow. So when you first started, did the luxury trips just seem to flow in or? No, or... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> not at all. Um, I, you know, took a little bit of anything and everything that came my way. Um, and as I continued to, you know, get into the business, I decided to narrow my funnel down a little bit more and continue to work toward that goal of creating those luxury experiences. So um, piece by piece, it fell into place, but it, it was a lot of continuing to persevere in that direction and sort of um, allowing the other types of trips to fall off, if you will. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't know how to better explain it than that. Yeah. So I, I remember um, it's probably it's been over a year. It may be close to two years ago when you and I had a coaching session and we were discussing your business and some things that, you know, you might could tweak or add or take away. Yes. And I don't honestly remember exactly what we discussed, but was there anything from that that you 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 started or stopped or? I think if I remember correctly, um, we were talking a lot about suppliers and mm -hmm. just, you know, uh, gaining knowledge, industry knowledge of luxury suppliers so that I would have those at my fingertips and be able to really utilize those suppliers wow. um, in my itinerary. So when I create those, <clears throat> excuse me, custom fit itineraries, I was able to pull those suppliers in and really you know, glean that niche of luxury. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah, I do remember that because um, I think that's a benefit that our members don't take full advantage of. Uh, World Via Pro is such an improvement over our last, um, you know, agent pro. It, it, would you agree with that? Yeah, I would agree with that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and in fact, it's it's just awesome. And um, I, I, I speak with members that have not registered with most of our suppliers. And if you don't register, you don't even know what there is to what they're offering or what what uh, tools you have. Right. So right. Um, what what suppliers would you say and not necessarily that you sell a lot but that you look at and use their tools um i love um belmond um Tauk, abercrombie and kent oh yeah um, you know i i've used um blue parallel mm -hmm. which is um that's a real high-end luxury uh -huh. And I just like their, what they do. I haven't actually booked them They're I don't oh. believe they're in our, our system. Oh, okay. 
but but they're good to look at. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> so you know, you, you can learn from just kind of researching out there and, and right. figuring out, you know, exactly. what works for you. Yeah. I, I remember in the past, I would have a customer that didn't want a tour. They wanted an FIT in Europe and they would tell me where they wanted to go. I would just go to Globus and look at that tour right? And, because they've got the timing all worked out. They know how long it takes to get from point A to point B every day. Absolutely. And, and I just followed that and made the made the booking. And of course, the customers thought I was just so knowledgeable. But a lot of these tours, I had never I had never done that itinerary. So right, and th and that is, you know, I think really important for um, people starting out in the industry to understand that there's a huge learning curve, and you know that's a great way to start. Is I, I hate to use the fake it until you make it, but it really is just a learning curve of going out there and just yeah. digging in to these companies that you are drawn to. Uh -huh. um, and just learning kind of what they do and how they do it. And like you said, their timing and, and uh -huh. you know, where they go and, and some of those surprise things that they do. It's, that's just a great way to learn. Yes. Yes. I, I totally agree. Um, and I don't even call, I don't even consider it faking it because right. these are suppliers that we've vetted. Um, right. I'm very comfortable saying that Globus and their uh, budget company, Cosmos, and then their their River, um, Avalon, Avalon. Those yeah. are all tested and great products. For sure. And I don't see a thing wrong with looking at them and getting knowledge, acquiring knowledge from them, and using the tools that we have available as members of Travel Quest. Right. Um, I wish I could um, get the point across more that World Via Pro <clears throat> is their agency's intranet. <laughs> it it belongs to the members, right. and um, so that's I'm trying to get the word out that really use the tools that your plan pays for. Absolutely, they're right there at your fingertips, and it's you know that's the easiest place to start. Yes. So um, going yeah. through that directory and just, you know, digging in to all of that and then learning from those suppliers is oh. a, a great way to start. What do you think about members that tell me that they're only going to register and learn suppliers that only deal with their niche? How do you think that could hurt them in the long run? Um, yeah, I don't think that's wise I because I feel like you need to pull from a lot of different resources sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that it's, I think every, every supplier for the most part, um, maybe that's a little bit broad. Most suppliers, I believe, have a lot to offer. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, some specialize in, in things that others don't. So I think it's really yeah. important to have kind of an overall knowledge of um, a, a unique variety of suppliers so that you're not funneling yourself too narrow because I think that can cut off your your lifeline you know to your business right that's that's that is so true and I, I always think back and use the example I had customers that when the couple traveled I booked them on Abercrombie trips um, private islands in Belize um, just very exclusive trips but when they took their grandchildren with them, they booked carnival. <laughs> exactly. exactly. So, but when they booked carnival, yeah. the grandparents had the top suite, the adult children had balconies, and then the grandkids, if they were old enough for their own room, they had insides. So, you know, that's Absolutely. the way travel works. You, that's right. really, you need to be prepared if you're going to sell travel. Absolutely. Yeah. I, that's such a great example. I love that. <laughs> have you encountered any customers like that? Yes, um, I do have a very high end client I'm actually working with today. <laughs> um, oh, okay. And it's kind of a similar scenario. So, you know, she and her husband like to travel by themselves when they have the opportunity and they do something, you know, kind of just for them that might be a little bit more unique and special. Uh -huh. um, whereas when they travel with the family, I wouldn't say it's, I mean, we, it's still very luxury, but it's maybe a little bit different in yeah. terms of how it works out. So uh -huh. yeah, very, very similar, I would yeah. say. That's great. That's great.
So it's fun. Well, um, I want to talk about some fun things now that and what um, has the things you do that really get my attention. Okay. And one of them is on your social media, I have seen you put together a picnic day in Paris. Yes. With all the details of how to make it work. Just give us kind of a, you don't have to give me all the secrets because this sure. is something that you do for your customers. It makes yeah. you very special. Yes. But tell me about that. Yeah. So um, I actually created that for myself and my husband um, because I wanted to see how that would work for some of my clients. Yeah. And I wanted to make sure that since I was going to Paris, I thought, well, I better you know, <laughs> try it before you buy it. Um, but I, de I definitely wanted to see if the experience was as five-star and beautiful as I thought it would be. And it yeah. truly was amazing. So the supplier that I um, used just did a phenomenal job putting some of those components together on our trip. Uh -huh. um, but I, you know, used a, several different suppliers to create my own trip. And uh, that one was just really great. Uh, we got to the park and I got a phone call and she told me where to walk and she watched me walk. I couldn't see her, the person that set up the picnic. Oh my gosh, was, I didn't know that part. Oh, it was so fun. And so we walked and, you know, it was almost like a little, um, just like a little magic fairy tale. I thought, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm living this right now. And so we walked through the Hardin de Luxembourg and uh -huh. found our spot. And you would have thought we were celebrities. I mean, people were flocking and taking pictures. And this picnic was, it was enough for 10 people, but it was so beautiful. It was yeah. gorgeous. I, I saw the photograph on your, <laughs> on your Facebook and I'm like, Mary's not eating all that food. She's no. having a party. I know she's having a party. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. It was, we actually ended up giving some away to our, the people that were sitting near yeah. us. Said, Come join us, you know, have some food. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, that just, oh my gosh. That just looked like a memory of a lifetime. Really. Yeah, truly was. Yeah. Several of the experiences on that trip were um, quite lifetime experiences. So um, but those are the types of things I like to interject for um, okay. my clients so that okay. they have that surprise and delight moment that yeah. stands out. And, you know, that is what makes it special. I mean, let's yeah. face it. These people are, this is, you know, especially for some of those high-end clientele, they are, this is precious time. And yeah. of course it's precious money. They've earned it. And, and so you want to make sure that you're, taking the time yes. to create something that's really unique and special. Mm -hmm. And I think that too often we get busy and we decide that we're just going to throw something together um, mm -hmm. and, and try and get it out the door for that sale. But that that's just not the way that a luxury, well, anybody should operate, but um, right. particularly if you're, you know, creating something ultra luxe that is um, super special and has a lot of unique little moments plugged into it that it just it takes time and it takes yeah. effort and it's you know and, and it works out in the end to be the perfect thing mm -hmm. yes and I think a lot of times we might be guilty of um you know how they say selling from our own wallet yeah and so putting I'm sure putting that picnic together would not be inexpensive it would cost quite a bit correct but like you say your your customers it's the time and the memories they're going to have from the trip. They, you already know, and they already have an idea if they're going to spend money. Correct. But are you going to, are you going to offer them something for their money? That's going to make it fabulous and something like that, that would make it fabulous. Um, yeah, I remember, and I think, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 go ahead. Um, well, I think, you know, I keep going back to, the trip that was created for us before I became an advisor. And every time I, in my memory bank, go back to that trip, I think about those types of moments. And mm -hmm. that's what gives me the desire and the drive to create those moments for others, because I feel like it's the mm -hmm. same thing. I mean, I, I, it's six years ago and I'm still talking about it. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, it's a good crazy. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is a, a, a very great travel memory that, you know, travel is so intangible. What it, what it comes down to is the memories from the trip when right. you come back home. And um, you've created something that will, 
be there your entire life. So that's, that's just great. For sure. Um, what other, are there any other that I haven't seen on your post? Oh gosh. What, what other kind of special things do you do? You name it. Um, <laughs> you know, private right now, the trip I'm creating, will have, um, some private yacht excursions, uh -huh. um, in the Galapagos. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, just, it, private, I think private is, is part of it. Um, again, creating those, you know, unique experiences, um, bringing joy, you know, creating less stress, just mm -hmm. keeping it as seamless as possible. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, what, whatever the destination is, um, for that client, I think researching it to the best of my ability is, is, um, helps me to, you know, kind of put my mind around what I need to do to make it right. mm -hmm. um, because ultimately that's my job to bring joy, to create that adventure, um, mm -hmm. to bring that memory that will last a lifetime and, and for them to just really go home and talk about it to other people. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That, that's, that's kind of helps that growing your business and uh, without much effort, really just doing a good job is what makes that grow. Right. And, and, yeah. you know, 99% of my business is word of mouth. So I think that speaks for itself. And I think that's what other advisors, um, you know, it, you know, a word of advice would just be to continue to work to the best of your ability. And that word of mouth slowly, but surely it gets around and mm -hmm. um, yeah, people come. Yeah, that's right. Is there any uh, training that comes to mind that has helped you with um, knowing the luxury products or doing a better job of offering that? Any I mean, I went into Travel Leaders Network, um, all the little workshops that, you uh -huh. know, that they uh -huh. have, um, and that's where I started my learning process. And then, of oh, course, okay. I take a lot of webinars. Yes. Um, my now, you know, Joshua doesn't like webinar. He doesn't like that word. Really? Oh, okay. We need a. We need to. You know, this this needs to be a, a membership wide competition. What is another word for webinar? So Joshua will be happier. Oh so, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so far, I've come up with presentations. <laughs> oh, okay. I love it. Well, I've watched a lot of presentations, um, and I take them directly from the suppliers, um, yeah. and I do that weekly. So every week, I have a goal. I set my goals. Oh, every Monday okay. I set goals and I set to do lists and those goals are my weekly goals. But every every week I have an education goal and that is typically suppliers um, uh -huh. that I listen to their presentations, not their webinars. <laughs> Good. Good job. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I never win anything, though. They always say, hey, you can win a three hundred dollar gift card if you listen to the end. Well, I never win. So I'm waiting. <laughs> well, now, Mary, here's the point where I jump in and say, but Mary, you are winning because yes. look how awesome your business is increasing. <laughs> what a great job you're doing. Yes, so there's you. the win. There's the win. Yes. Uh, but you know what? That's so interesting. I have, haven't had anyone else tell me that. I hear about yearly goals, monthly goals, lifetime goals. You have a weekly goal for education. That That's amazing. That's Thank amazing. You. Well, I used to be a teacher, so I guess it comes naturally. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, okay. That kind of explains it. Yes. Yes. I had forgotten that about you. I yes. now remember. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I, I just, I'm very impressed with that. And um, I don't know if you've had a chance to do any of the uh, classes with our new education manager, Erica. Um, have you I have met? Not. Oh, Okay. Um, Erica Scanelli, she, she is putting together, it, I'm so impressed and I keep trying to find time to sit in on some of her presentations. And um, so um, the next time I see one that I think might fit in with your schedule, I'll send you a message, but be on the look, look, at, look at World Via Pro and one thing she is working on and, and I'm working with her we're going to do some group immersions later in the year where people will come into um, Atlanta for a couple of days over the weekend 
and it will be like boot camp. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, great. Yeah. So groups is going to be one of the uh, subjects. And then we're also going to do one for luxury travel, which I think you would be interested I in. I would love to come to that. And it's not just beginner level stuff. Some of this, Erica is tough. So great. I would yeah. love that. That sounds amazing. Yes. I will look for her. Yes. Yes. Start looking at that because um, everything she does, she also, she's really good at this, at gearing it towards um, beginning, um, you know, kind of comfortable or, or been in the business for a while and then master classes. So, okay, great. Yeah. Nice. Well, gosh, Mary, the, the, the time has flown by. I knew flown it by. would. I knew it would. Uh, we'll have to have another one of these later on when when we have more. I have other questions for you. I ran out of time, so sure. Um, just uh, I'll keep watching your social media postings, and I'm sure you're going to have some members interested in becoming friends with you on Facebook. <laughs> I would love that. Well, good. The more friends, the merrier, right? Yes, and I recommend they do that so they can see that picnic. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Today I posted myself in the Cotswolds because I have such oh. fun with the, um, the Cotswolds. Yes. Oh, oh, I, you know, I was there twice in my oh. lifetime and it's so beautiful. Oh, so pretty. What yeah. time of year were you there? January of 2020, right before the world shut down. <laughs> so. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's cold there, but still cold. very beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, you have a great day and um, I will be talking to you soon. Thank you, Velma. You have a great day, too. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.